Hey, it's Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials, and today we are going to do current situations for cancer. If you are new to my channel, I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits. I do not dress up lies, beat around the bush. I'm going to tell you what I hear, feel, see, so you can receive the message in clarity. So, cancer, as I was preparing for your reading... I picked up on the sense of being turned around or confused about a situation. Turned around, um, confused, um, unsure, right? Unsure, um, like clueless, not having a clue, trying to figure some things out, right? <clears throat> so what came out for you, right? Because your current situation is going to be different, Um because of the cards that fell out. The first message you received was surrender to play. Surrender to play. Surrender to play comes in telling you that it is a time to relax, right? It is a time to rest. Uh, it is a time to stop um, dwelling on a situation that already has you in confusion, right? And then for the other cancers you receive surrender to setting limits right learning how to um tell a person no learning how to tell a person stop learning how to tell a person wait a minute right hold up a second about a uh, partnership or romance because you um receive the sacred union also with this surrender or surrender to setting limits see that surrender to setting limits so, we're going to look into the surrender to play first, right? Then we'll get over here to those who are in um, partnerships, unions, relationships, friendships, um, and see what's going on with, a, with the cancer um, having a problem with telling someone, no, stop, hold on, or someone telling cancer, hold on, wait, stop, just a second, right? So we're going to look into this surrender to play. We're going to get some insight to see what's going on, right? So, Cancer, if you don't know, right, I'm telling you now that our first TTOD, which is Talks Terror Over Drinks, is tomorrow, Friday, December 20th. As of right now, the time range is anywhere between 6.30 to 7. I will be on live, right? Um, our current uh, hot topic that um a vote was put out about was witchcraft right witchcraft everybody wants to know for, about witchcraft and i'm going to give you some facts and i'm going to break down some things to give you a better understanding of what witchcraft is you know how it works and how many people actually partake partake <clears throat> got a message um partake into uh witchcraft and they don't even know it but they are quick to down talking you know so with surrender to play it says take a break from overthinking a goal mm -hmm. do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation right so some of you need to go out hang out have a little fun to take your mind off whatever the situation is because, see, the thing about it is, in the surrender to play, counselors is coming in wounded. That's a feminine energy, right? But the thing about it is, when we speak about this feminine energy, counselor being wounded, what is counselor wounded by? Emotions. Because this feminine energy that's in this image runs through the water. Water represents emotions. Water also represents rejuvenation of life. So, some of you need to cleanse yourself right break free to get a breakthrough maybe take some type of spiritual bath um use some type of special soaps some of you may need to even uh clean your homes okay clean your homes um using special type of uh washes and cleansers okay clarifying your surrender to play you receive playful playful and playful comes in as a eight eight represents spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation also known as a transformation or calling for a spirit to a person or a situation so playful 
and maybe um you know whatever your goal was whatever had you down whatever had you depressed whatever is currently consuming your mind they are here telling you once again that it is time to take a break right take a break playful right playful coming in as an eight when you say calling for a spirit to a person right cancer over here needing to surrender to play and the situation playful right needed to 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 take a time out from being so serious right being so serious about a situation or overthinking a situation right overthinking um um a situation that once had you all in your feelings because the thing about water signs because don't forget i'm a water sign when we are in our water element right basically we are grounded but if we ever hit a blockage or a person or a situation gets us out of that water element our, our natural water element and gets us into the air element of our mind that is where the blocks come in at this is why they keep telling you take a break have some playtime. Go hang out. Go shopping. Don't drink coffee at home today. Go to a coffee shop. Uh, go to a hookah lounge. Go to the park and watch the birds and the bees and clear your mind because there's a need here for clearing of the mind, right? So let's get energies. Spirit for surrender to play and playful here for cancers. What is the energy? I'm stuck. Financial constraints. Financial constraints comes out or also known as a restriction. And this is a four. Fours represent what will be accepted, what will be rejected, or what is blocked. See that? Financial constraints. Could be a money situation. Could be um, some type of financial loans, right? Whether it be um, homes, auto, student loans, personal loans. Some type of blockage is here. Mm -hmm. um, some of you may be in these relationships and ready to come into union, could be. And maybe you don't have enough money to finance a ring or purchase the ring because I keep picking up purchase here. But together they represent the three. What is the three? The three is the creation. Playful goes away from the financial constraints or the restrictions. The creation of not being so serious, right? Away from financial constraints or restrictions, cancer. Surrender to play. Take a break. We don't need anyone having strokes. We don't need anyone passing out, hyperventilating, any of that. So what we're going to look into, we're going to look at these, uh, into this financial constraint or these restrictions, okay? So spirit, that was quick, right there. You see it? Boom. It comes out quick. For cancer, why is financial constraints here? You receive the mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The mother or the uh, empress and abundance right this is also the three of cups so they tell us the mother right the mother could be a girlfriend could be a wife could be a boss as well a female boss maybe or a boss who is in feminine energy mode but this is a person who is uh could be pregnant because this is a person who is creative and productive or a person who produces results, right? And the mother comes in as a three. Mm -hmm. Towards the creation, right, of abundance. Towards the creation of abundance to bring forth a balance, right? Because this is three and three makes the six. The six represents balance. So the mother, right, or the empress goes towards abundance, right? Abundance. But something is restricting here. For a lot of you, um, a person is going to find their way. Um, for a lot of you, um, a lot of these uh, girlfriends and uh, wives, they are expecting these, um, 
expecting gifts or some of them are in in um anticipating a move but some of you may not have financial means at this time to surprise them by us uh being right around the corner for christmas um these cars are they flying um holidays for the for those who celebrate holidays these holidays a lot are expecting things of you and you may not be able to provide them right provide them because a restriction is here financial constraints financial constraints and with the mother going towards abundance I see two things here. <clears throat> the mother is going towards, right? Walking towards abundance. This is abundance. But the face and the swan in abundance is going away from the mother. So here could be someone expecting something great, some, someone expecting something grand, only to be let down in the end. Also here in the mother... The mother is taking forward movement or taking forward action, right? Abundantly, because it is the green, right? With a sweet deal of offering, because that is an apple. But look at the Pegasus. Head is down, right? No movement. Drinking water once again. Mm. Something is going to be a surprise, because clarifying the mother, you receive the high priestess clarifying the mother in this three of cups or this abundance is the high priestess the high priestess comes in and tell us about secrets also tell us about unknown mysteries unknown facts also tell us about the spiritual realm contracts are here some type of secret is here mm, a secret the unseen the unknown because the, the high priestess is the um moon wearer, right? The moon is upon the head. The moon tell us about the unknown, the un the um unknown, the unseen. But the high priestess sees all, knows all. And the high priestess is here telling us that a person could have not told their other half or their partner about a financial restriction. Or some type of contract that may be binding them. Because see, that's a contract. Mm -hmm. That is stopping them from moving forward. So while a person is moving towards cancer, cancer may be bound. Or while cancer is trying to move towards their person, a person may be bound. And once again, it's a lot of water here. Someone is going to be in their feelings. I'm telling you, underneath the deck. The King of Swords is here. The King of Swords is here. The Page. Mm, over your abundance. The Page of Staff is here. The Page of Staff is here. Along with the Ten of Coins. Oh boy. I'm telling you. Ten of Coins. The Five of Swords. Wow. Five of Swords. Cancel what you got going on. The four of coin. Mm -mm -mm. The four of coin. Temperance in reverse. Oh boy. Temperance in reverse. Mm. Cancel, be careful. Towards the three of coin. One more. And if I have to, I'm going to pull one more. Death. Towards judgment. Mm, one more after this. Because Queen of Cups. Cancer shows up. And surrounding. The Queen of Cups. The devil is here. Y'all better get ready. Five of Cups is here. All this emotion. I told you we had a lot of water. Knight of Cups is here. And I'm going to stop. And if I need to pull. I'll pull further. It's a lot going on, Council. What you got going on? It's best to be um, truthful and honest to people who expect so much from you than to um, beat around the bush and speak untold truths. 
which are lies. Be careful. So they tell us, right? The queen, king of swords towards the page of staff, right? Someone has it in their mind, king of staff, to cut off. Because you see how the king of swords has the sword up towards the page of staff? Some type of communication. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to work with me because I got my new recording system yesterday late and I'm trying to learn how to work it. You guys have the first video, right? So someone is cutting off communication. Mm. Pertaining to what? Per the communication comes in the form. See the staff over here towards the ten of co coin. In a family situation, some type of um organization, business, company, because the Ten of Coins represent a lot. A financial situation, right? But see, the thing about it is the dog is here. Dogs represent friend or enemy. You have to be careful. And here a child is giving the dog money, right? This dog could also be known as a traitor, a thief, someone who's on the prowl, someone who's on the hunt. Um, could be for anything valuable, right? To take, to steal. Mm -hmm. And then they tell us what? Someone is going to walk away from holding back in their mind. Look at that. Five of swords towards the four of coin. Someone is going to walk away from being held back, right? Someone is going to walk away. Somebody's, somebody's in a family or a um, some type of unit, situation or a group or a company or a um organization or a business they're gonna find out some type of truth or some type of communication messages and they're gonna walk away from what is holding them back who is holding them back then they say no divine healing see that no divine healing can come in at this time see that no divine healing because temperance is in reverse towards all things working out see that all things coming together right this is and for some some people this is also karma karma is moving around very heavy cancer and a lot of um payments must be rendered i'm telling you so they say final decision towards the end it's major too it's a lot of majors here final decision towards the end oof because they told us something cannot be healed in, in a lot and you know when you're dealing with water signs um when you talk about these emotions sometimes people can't forgive right then when a situation occurs so this could also be known as no forgiveness because temperance can be known as forgiveness no forgiveness to all things working out see that so i said karma be careful and then they tell us that this decision may not go in the favor of cancer because see how judgment blows the horn away from water sign queen of coin queen of sorry queen of cups cancer and if we talk about a queen of coin queen of coin is someone who lacks value something of value but don't forget the ten of coins is here as well. And see, when you look at the um, queen of cups, the queen of cups is waiting on some type of communication. That is that blue bird that can calm down and settle down these emotions because that is the blue. But look, the fish is passing. That means the fish is passing by. That means plenty is passing. Queen of cups, cancel. Bye. Be careful. Do not get so focused that um you miss other opportunities because other opportunities are there so they say the judgment may not go in your favor and when they tell you that why because look this message that bluebird that is coming in right to calm down your um nerves or to calm down emotions it may calm you down for the moment but this message may be also like um, two-sided because I'm picking up two-sided here. So, you know, like um, how they tell you, uh, for example, someone is two-faced. You know how a person comes to you. Girl, I love that purple shirt you had on 
at uh, Thanksgiving, just say, right, for people who celebrate Thanksgiving, or for Halloween, and then when you get with your other friend, you know, Betty, Kim, or Nancy, they say, yeah, you know, um, I talked to Jacqueline, and Jacqueline said she couldn't stand that purple shirt that you wore for Thanksgiving. People who are two-faced, I feel like this situation is either being told by a two-faced person, or it's going to be more to the message than what meets the eye. Like, the message is going to calm down your nerves. But cancer does not know what really went on behind closed doors or what is the real intent of this message because the bird is too close to the devil. And then what happens after the devil comes in? See that? And see what is the devil facing in this message? Someone feeling regretful. Cups, five of cups. See that? About some type of relationship or bondship, the two of cups. Letting go of attachment, see? And then they tell us from feelings of regret to someone standing up to make an offer. But let me tell you about the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the weakest night in the deck. And when I say the weakest night in the deck, the Knight of Cups can literally get to the stream of water and turn around and not even give an offer. But the thing I want you to see, who is the Knight of Cups making an offer to? Or why is the Knight of Cups making an offer? That's why I say I should have just pulled one more. The Knight of Cups is making an offer to the King of Coin, right? See that? King of Coin in reverse. Someone who is not solid. Someone who is not um, uh, independent. Someone who cannot stand on their own. Someone who is not grounded. Yep. And then look what's after the King of Coins in reverse. The Queen of Coin. Someone is coming in wounded by value, right? As what? As they face truth. See that? As they face truth. And truth is going to lead Ace of Swords, the Queen of Coins, right? Towards the Eight of Cups, a new plan. Because a new plan is being offered. And the new plan that comes in is about happiness. It's about happiness. But let me tell you, the Eight of Coin with the Nine... Oh, I keep saying coin, right? The Eight of Coin. For some of you, this plan is building up to a state or a stage or a phase of equality or equal value, right? Some of you may be going through this right now and you haven't reached the stage or the step or the phase of a new plan being given, but it is in the working out or the works or the process. So you have the eight of cups with the nine of cups that makes the seven of cups what is the seven of cups? Choices, desires, self-fulfillment. Yeah, whatever a person desires, right? Who comes in wounded, right? So a person who does not get what they expected to get or a person who was expecting one thing and got something else, this person is literally being led to a new plan of happiness or this person is being led to the truth of their self desires see that and i feel like in in the time of the he say she say or the relaying of messages someone is gonna find out how truly weak a person is weak because you have the weakest night in the deck coming in to make an offer only to a person who is not grounded or to make an offer for towards right and of a person who is not stable a person who is not grounded so if you hit a bump in the road cancer right if this is your situation and you hit a bump in the road do not get discouraged because it's all for your good i'm telling you it's all for your good i'm telling you you don't want to be with someone who was weak you don't want to be with a with a person who cannot stand up. You don't want to be involved with a person who cannot stand on their own word. And they always tell you, you know what I'm saying, talk is cheap. But at the same time, I always heard um, 
the bond is what makes the man, right? That's what I've heard. The bond is what makes the man or the bond is what makes the woman. The bond, you know, word, um, you know, how, like how strong is the bond or the connection that I can take you for your word? Straight up. A lot of you are going to find, you're going to see these people. When I say you're going to see these people, you're going to see them for who they truly are. Because right now, I feel like somebody's wearing a false mask and they're two-faced. When you start learning about these people, get away from them. Stop dealing with them. Don't go and cry and be sad and depressed and all in your feelings and confused. Mm -mm, baby. Get out of there. Always remember, if a water sign is ever caught in the air, because we are the element that goes from one element and we can transform into another. We are grounded in water, right? But if someone ever gets us in our head, that's when we change and transform and get into that air element. Stay away from the air. Now let's get into the second message, which is surrender, right? To setting limits. Mm-hmm. It says, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Don't forget what clarifies that. Mm -hmm. It says, practicing expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Stop accepting any and everything. Stop accepting. I'm telling you because I heard that clear as day. Stop accepting any old thing. Stop accepting how a person treats you. If a person is not treating you right and you know it, yeah, uh, a person cannot um, be abusive, whether it's verbal abuse, physical abuse, any type of abuse that is given only to turn around and hand you a rose and everything is okay. To turn around and make you a meal and tell you to come home and eat dinner and everything is okay because that does not make it okay. For a lot of people, that does not even heal or mend the wound, right? Be careful. Coming in as a nine. What is the nine? Nine is the divines calling for your attention to a person needing to set those limits and boundaries in a situation, in a sacred union, a relationship, partnership, friendship, love or relationship, romantic ship. Y'all already know I love my ships. So you do what you got to do. Stand up. Stand up. Look at all these cards. It's a lot of them. And I took all of them. Let's go. What is going on? The balancing of loyalty is loyalty issues within a relationship. Needing to balance loyalties. Some of you need to get some type of spiritual services because meditation talks about spiritual services and it comes in as a seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Plus, sometimes um, you have people who are stepping out of the relationship. This is also a six, balancing lust issues. Needed to have strength coming in as an eight. Some type of transformation needs to come in strong, right? Strong transformation. Eight, focus. Some of you need to focus on taking action or the drive or what is driving this relationship. Feminine energy here, wounded, but fire is also present. Rigid is here, the creation of rigid, breaking down these walls. If you um know you with someone who is untrue, someone who is unfaithful, what is the problem you have of delivering a message that will tear down the walls to expose the actions of the person that you're with? Not unless you're just afraid of them or you just want to stay with them so much that you don't care. Some of you have been wishing for a relationship situation ship. And now that your wish has been fulfilled, you don't know what to tell a person. You don't know how to handle a person. And you think in the back of your mind, this person is crazy. Mm-hmm. They always tell you to be careful what you ask for. Then you got individuality. Some of you feel like you're losing yourself in this relationship. But a message of open way, open road of clarity is coming. And you just have to be patient and receive it because you're wounded here. Right? Orange bird. Birds represent communication. And some of y'all relationship is just straight up chaotic. Chaos. And for some of you, chaos is coming. Whether it be you find out some type of secret 
or some type of actions that was taken behind your back because chaos comes in as a nine. Get ready. Time to buckle up. I'm telling you. It's a lot going on, Council. I wish y'all would have voted for who are you dealing with because I did put out a vote. Everything that I do is geared towards you guys to vote, right? I put out a vote um, for air elements, fire uh, element, water, and um, earth element, air signs one. Now I'm going to do a bonus reading for who they're dealing with, and we're going to get into who they're dealing with. So let's um, go energy. Spirit, what is the energy here for counsel for surrendering, setting limits, and a sacred union? I'm stuck again, man. What y'all got going? The woman holding a coin. This is also known as the high priestess in this deck. Some of you are dealing with um, secret uh, side pieces and don't even know it. Spirit says, clarify the secret side piece. If I was to have a side piece and my uh, partner wouldn't know, that would be loyalty issues, right? Loyalty issues. That would be chaos once I found out, right? A lot of you are going to end up be praying for strength. Some of you are going to need to find yourselves. See that? Individuality. Some of you are going to need to address the issues and tear down these walls and these blocks and let, the, let your partner know that this is not cool. Some of you want to entertain the, the uh, uh, threesomes. Because I keep hearing four play as well. Some, some water signs, you know, y'all freaks. Freaky deakies, but the but the, the high the woman holding a coin, somebody holds some type of value, and then the thing about it is, someone who holds value, I always you know when I'm in a relationship, you know, and I sit down and I have like a um positive talk or a um we talk about the relationship, the do's and the don'ts, because we talk about setting limits. I always say the same thing, and I don't care who I'm dating, I don't care who I'm talking to, it don't matter. Do not ever have another person to have anything over my head. That's what I tell them. And anything is this value. Some of you are dealing with these uh, mates and don't even know that they have side pieces. Some of you may be going through all of this chaos and all of this darkness and all of this depression because the person who your person is dealing with is a high priestess or is also a person who deals with the spiritual realm. This is Baz. Yep, this is a spiritual um entity that is known in the spiritual world. This black cat, a person who is a person who is a worker of the spiritual realm. Sometimes you find people going to the spiritual realm, right? To okay, um I you know, I, every time I turn around, I always see Chris and Chris is so handsome, but I never can get Chris, you know, on my own, right? I can't say anything because I know Chris has a girlfriend. So I'm going to go over here and have the high priestess get Chris for me. But here they're coming in sixth. Time to bring a balance to the situation. Time to bring a balance to the situation. That's a lot going on. So let's look into surrender to setting limits, right? Surrender to setting limits. Why is it here, Council? Why is it here? Spirit 4. They came out quick. Rebirth. Also known as death. You're either going to end it or it will be transformed. But understand that rebirth comes in as a 4. What is the 4? is one of the most injuring damaging numbers on the boys at this time what will be accepted what will be rejected or what is being blocked council what you got going what you got going your decision honey your decision one thing about it y'all know i'm not gonna hold anything back over here spirit why is rebirth here for cancer why is rebirth here for cancer you receive the ten of staff. Mm -hmm. Five of swords. 
someone is going to walk away from the indecision, right? To leave this relationship. Mm -hmm. They're going to walk away broken hearted. That is the three of swords. But all of these mind games and confusions that a person was in when they was with another person, they're going to leave and they're going to take their heartbreak and they're going to walk over here to ending and laying down burdens because they tell us in the ten of staff someone who is on a new journey that is the ace of staff in one hand away from the nine of staff in the other hand from being a wounded warrior someone is going to walk away only to stand strong to stand tall mm -hmm. and then once again many of you are wishing for this mm-hmm a lot of you are finding out about these lustful situations and you're getting out of them. A lot of you are going to deliver the message that is going to tear down these walls of these blockages. A lot of you can now find yourselves again. Uh-huh. Some of you are going to find your strength. Mm -hmm. And even when you are faced, right, with chaos, you will learn how to walk around the storm. I'm telling you, a lot of you are going to see that loyalty has been breached and you are lo no longer um, willing to stay around, stand around or be involved because guess what? A lot of you have your focus in your head, right? Mm -hmm. And for some of you have been involved in these relationships for so long and you don't know what to do because confusion is here. A lot of you are going to get some type of spiritual services. It doesn't matter if it's a reading, a bath, a herbal bath, a prayer, light up an incense. It does not matter. A lot of you are going into the spiritual realm underneath the deck. Let's go for a person who makes the decision to walk away and end some things, lay down some burdens. A new opportunity is here. Ace of staff. Now let me show you. A new opportunity is here away from a heartbreak three of swords you see how the ace of staff hook is pointing away from that heartbreak a lot of you are heading out of this mm -mm, leah i don't know who they think they is i've been loyal to them i've been true to them and they want to play with me <laughs> oh that's what i'm talking about and guess what they say time to stand up mm-hmm stand up seven of staff and do what resist a commitment see that right resist or stand up only to step into a path change see that hierophant and do what move forward mm -hmm. move on move on towards a what new beginning fool now let me tell you you see the dog there is the friend or enemy when cancer decides that they're going to haul boogie up out of there, this your person that was in these three, three, way, um, three ways, four ways, four plays, third parties, it don't matter. The ones who was untrue to you, when, they, when you get your new opportunity to move on, they're going to come back. Look at them. Baby, please, I'm so sorry. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. I was just being foolish. I didn't know I was going, uh, oh, my God, I love you so much. But the only thing you must remember, this person is trying to stop, block you from moving forward because what 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 is going to be in your future <laughs> is going to be far more greater than they could ever give you or you could ever gain from them the ace of coin you better get with it and the ace of coin comes in and then they tell us why the ace of coin comes in away from sneakiness away from the cheater seven of swords away from the liar away from a person who is going to face a heartbreak but have a recovery for see the four of swords in their mind yeah but at the same time they say that this person walks on confusion the grounds of confusion this is a person who thought they would never get caught you gonna want to take your ace of coin because they also tell you that your ace of coin is what your nine of coin and what is your nine of coin your nine of coin is your happiness that is going to come in towards cancer ace right ace of coin the um um queen of cups even though you may not see it or even though you may not see it now 
But one thing about it, the, the nine of cups with the queen ace of cups, <laughs> both makes the ten of cups. What is the ten of cups? Ten of cups is happiness, baby. I'm telling you. Let them go. Move along. Oh, well. You had your fun. I'm not dumb. You thought I wasn't going to find out? That's me. Don't listen to me. That's how, Oh, you thought I wasn't going to find out? <laughs> Whatever. Listen, counsel. That has been your current situation. A lot of you are getting ready to go through some things, like hard times, right? In the love department. If you have recently met somebody, you better check the background of these people. I'm telling you. Outside of that, get ready to join us for our first TTOD tomorrow. Talk terror over drinks. I don't care what's in your cup. Because I'm going to be sipping on me a little something. And we're going to sit back. We're going to talk. We're going to relax. I'm going to give away some gifts. All kind of stuff. Um, Incense. Soaps. Um, qu like question credits. Um, All kind of stuff. We're going to have fun, man. We're going to make it fun. If you have not checked me out at um, Dark Mystics, I'm over there picking up the darkness. And guess what? It's crazy. Because if you haven't seen Dark Mystics, the December blocks is about someone receiving some type of communication um, or some type of knowledge that someone has been in their home, been on the premises. Uh, third parties are going to be found out. Phones are going to be checked. Messages is going to be there. Pictures is going to be there. Your reading is perfect for dark mystics. I'm over there. It is the, um, it's the eye, like an eyeball with different color orbs of light around it. And that's our channel where we picked up pick up on twists, dark plots, dark people, what they think they're going to do, and what's going to happen. Listen, I love you guys. Join me tomorrow live. Yes. Um. Also, keep up with the community um posts, the community votes. We I always vote. Everything we do, vote, 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 vote. Um. If you are Twin Flames, Twin Flame Journey is up. How the um, karmics view the divine feminines. Getting ready to make how the divine masculine feel about the karmics. Views the karmics. How the divine masculine feels and views the divine feminines at this time. It just depends on the step that you are on. So until I see you guys tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Work it out, figure it out, and it's going to be A-OK, -okay, Counselor. Everything is going to work itself out, right? What they always tell you growing up, knowledge is power. Now that you know, now that you have power in your hand, what are you? how are you going to use your power?